everybody. Welcome back to Carried Away Travels. Now, this week we're taking a break from the international destinations and focusing back in on some fun things to do in the United States, specifically Colorado. Now, I had the opportunity to visit Colorado for the very first time in August, and it was as gorgeous as I ever hoped it would be. I already want to go back because we had such an incredible time road tripping around the state. We got to visit some of the greatest highlights like the Rocky Mountains and Denver, and of course, the focus of today's video, the Garden of the Gods. Now, I sometimes do this kind of weird thing where I will either over-research every single tiny little detail of the trip I'm going on, or I do absolutely no research at all and I kind of just show up. I don't know why. Colorado was one of the ones where I did like no research. I went with my friend Sarah, who had been before, and she had some recommendations. So I was like, sure, sounds great, let's do it. And even though Garden of the Gods has been on my list for like a decade because I saw the pictures and thought, wow, it looks so pretty, I wanna go, I had no idea what I was getting into. And so for all of you who have seen the pictures of Garden of the Gods and thought, wow, that looks pretty, what is it? This video is for you. So today I'm gonna fill you in just briefly on what to expect at the Garden of the Gods, what it actually is, and the fun activities you can do there because I had no idea you could do so much cool stuff at Garden of the Gods and I kind of wish we'd set aside more time to try them out. Um, but I will get into that in a second. So first things first, what is the Garden of the Gods? I went into this thinking it was like some sort of state park that was kind of isolated in the wilderness because where else do you see those kinds of stunning rock formations? Um, turns out it is literally just a public park in Colorado Springs. Like the town is right there and there's just this beautiful 280 acre public park with paved really nice sidewalks and a visitor center right across the street. It is absolutely gorgeous and it is so accessible and it is free. You do not have to pay any sort of park fee to access it. It is open to the public because a family that bought the land back in the early 1900s wanted everyone to be able to enjoy this beauty that they said was worthy of the gods. And so they donated it to the city and now it is open for everyone to enjoy. So the big attraction here is obviously these gorgeous rock formations. It's kind of hard to just describe how massive and incredible they are, but just these towering red rocks, some of them have eroded so they look like they've been sculpted a little bit and that was really fun to discover the most popular one is the kissing camels which literally looks like two camels giving each other a little smooch on the top of this ridge there's also the balanced rock and the erosion has caused the base of it to kind of come in so it, it looks like it is just balancing very precariously on this other rock right by the road so you drive by and you hope it doesn't fall over so it's so interesting to just wander through and see those, but also just the height and the cool ways that the formations are shaped. It's so fascinating because each one is very unique. Some of them have these deep crevices that you can walk into and kind of explore these little cave-like environments. Some of them you can climb up on and get these beautiful views of the rest of the park. Some of them are just these towering spires that just pierce the sky and it almost looks like part of an old castle. There's just so much variety in this one area and it's just incredible to see this gorgeous nature and be there in person. It's, it's just so much fun. Now, this gorgeous area has so much that you can do. Obviously, you can walk on these paved sidewalks, but there are also dirt hiking paths. So if you're interested in a little more of an adventure, you can hike on 
all different levels. You can hike up some of the rock formations. You can go kind of through the brush. Like there's all sorts of different trails you can take. There's an area for mountain biking. There's even an area for horseback riding. So if you have your own horse and you live nearby and you want to ride it around the Garden of the Gods, you can, and that is all free. Now, if you don't mind spending a little bit of money, you can also book one of their guided tours to take you through the Garden of the Gods and get a little bit more information about the formations and the history while you're there. They have a ton of different tour options, including historic trolley tours, Jeep tours, Segway tours, and e-bike tours. So you have plenty to choose from and all of these do cost a little to a lot but it does add to the experience and you'll be able to learn more and potentially enter some parts of the park that you couldn't really without a guide. Now if you're a little bit more adventurous and you enjoy rock climbing you can actually book that kind of tour here too and what a perfect place to do it. They do have a tour company that they recommend you book with and I don't think you can just go in and start climbing because some of the formations are a little delicate so you should have an approved guide. Um, you can book tours from two to six hours and they will make sure you have the right training and equipment and climb the correct formation so you don't accidentally damage any of the more delicate ones. But this would be such a great place to do that. If I ever get back there, I would very much like to try it. Before you go, be sure to stop at their visitor center as well. They have a really nice visitor center across the road. And that's just got some really helpful information about the Garden of the Gods, the history, the animals that live there. And so that's just a great stop. It's also got a really nice gift shop with souvenirs, not just from Garden of the Gods, but also Colorado as a whole. So if you're looking to grab some trinkets to bring home, that's a great place to check that out. And they also have a little cafe. So if you're hungry, you can grab a snack before you head out. And believe it or not, that is all I have for you today. This is one of my shortest videos ever. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this was helpful for you and inspires you to go check out the Garden of the Gods for yourself. If you are in Colorado, this is a fantastic stop on your journey. It's about an hour and a half south of Denver. So it's very accessible and it is just so stunning. Even though I got to see the Rocky Mountains, which were obviously much taller, this was still incredible in its own right. And it was just an amazing thing to see out in nature. So I highly recommend it. If you want to read a little bit more about this, as always, I have a blog at www.cochranwriting.com. You can check that out. And please, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up before you go. If you really liked it, you can share it. That would go a long way. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel before you leave as well. Thank you so much for being here and happy travels.